All right then, hello there, internets. It's me here, as always, Ryan, coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. All right, so it's still a little morning time here in Tokyo, so in that respect, good morning. Uh, if you're watching this at night, well, I'll be having a good night. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, guys, we're doing another vid. Vid um, Again, it's been a couple of days. Sorry for that. Um, been busy, you know, how things are. So, big thing today that the, uh, what we all suspected, you know, finally came out. The ruling party in Japan is going to go through with this massive tax hike that they think is going to pay for all the destruction uh, repair needs to be done. Alright, so yeah. Official numbers on this, guys, are, um, they, they're talking about $11 trillion they're going to be able to raise in 10 years off this um, tax hike. Like some, there's been reports coming out about this for a while. It appears it's going to be around 5 or being 5 and 8% on the consumption tax, plus a whole slew of other local taxes, um, tobacco tax, which tobacco in, in Japan, that's a blog. Worth its own piece. I'm not going to touch that right now, but that's being increased too. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about making an extra budget before I'll pay for all this. The government's going to be doing it all, apparently. The uh, saviors, you know, Japan are going to take care of us all. We just got to give them a lot of money. Lots and lots of money. So it's going to be 10 years on. Um, individuals and ironically only three years for corporations now isn't it a corporation who started all this mess with TEPCO yeah and corporations get a three year on it but we gotta pay a ten ah uh, yeah I don't need to even say how, how messed up that is I'm gonna have a smoke real quick here um, smoking a uh, death today that's right yeah Hey, might as well call them exactly what they are, eh? Yeah. So. Looks like we're going to have some tax issues here in Japan. I'm pretty sure Japanese people will go along right with it. Instead of giving any type of protest or resistance. And I'm also pretty sure that they'll find a way to get a lot of corporations out of paying for this. Well, you know, we're already having a lot of trouble here economically. And to add a big tax package like this, I don't see how this is going to help. Right now, I mean, the best thing would be to try to stabilize taxes or hell, even lower some taxes a little bit because you know the economy here in Japan was already stagnated before and now after all the disaster with earthquakes radiation leaks tsunamis and or even a volcano down in Kyushu you know now is not the time to be asking people to open up their their wallet any more than they already are because they basically can't people really can't pay this higher tax they want and I don't know if politicians realize this simple logic or not but people really can't pay anymore and that's one of the biggest underlying issues you know, people talk about, you know, where's the government going to get the money? Are they going to tax us? So we need to ask, where are we going to get the money? You know, we have a pretty comfortable, relatively comfortable lifestyle in Japan. In the bigger cities like where I live at, Tokyo, Yokohama, Osaka, even Kobe, people live really comfortable. 
you know, Japan has a pretty large middle class. And relatively low unemployment. It keeps their economy moving. At least. And they're going to put all these extra taxes on people. You know, people are not going to live as comfortable as they did before. Can't go out every night. You can't enjoy your life. You can't, you know, get something out of the hard work you do. Because your taxes will be so damn high. This is ridiculous. But no one in the government is offering any alternative but raise taxes, raise taxes. It's all they've talked about in the JGov is raise taxes. They haven't considered anything else. It's all been raise taxes, raise taxes. And I was talking to several Japanese people about this because, you know, being a person that follows politics, I tend to speak to other people who follow politics. And a couple of Japanese I know, they can speak about politics sensibly. So, you know, I learned a bit from them. What they, the, the basically what you know, the Japanese people have told me is that there's two points to this. Number one, they don't want to pay it. They don't want the, tire, the higher taxes over overwhelmingly. People have said they don't want it. And number two is the private sector has been forgotten in all this. You know. The government always talks about how they're going to do all the reconstruction themselves. Well, the private sector could probably handle most of this. Most of it, they could handle it. A lot of my Japanese political friends who like talking about politics over a beer have said the exact same thing. Where is the private sector in all this? Why not let them jump in and handle things a bit? You know, it really shows just how much the, the Japanese government trusts the private sector to do things right here. It's kind of like, you know, you got two corrupt bastards who don't trust each other, but in this, but they're in a situation where they both need to cooperate. And the Japanese government is clearly having none of it. They just want to raise taxes and try to do it all. You know, and we know how government works. A lot of that money is going to get corrupted and spent in the wrong places. There's going to be problems with it. They'll probably screw up a lot of the rebuilding. Try to find the shortest, cheapest way to do everything. You know, and people are going to be pissed off. Where, on the other hand, let the private sector move on in. It won't be perfect. They're trying to make money. So they're going to do things a little bit higher quality. And it'll help local industrial businesses in those areas get a must in economic shot in the arm because they'll get orders to do work and there's orders to do work there's jobs available which gets people back on their feet gets them working again and puts a paycheck in their wallet at least some walking around money they make a little money people start to feel better you see how this works? It's that it's like that. You let the private sector do what it does best. Do business. They get work. They gotta hire people to do that work. I mean really. It's sad that I need to point out such things. I really should never have to. No one should never have to. It should be common sense here. So those are two things that Japanese people are 
bringing up to me, and I've had some good conversations about this, is that, you know, where's the private sector? And we don't want a higher tax. We don't need it. It's bad. Overall, not good. So they've been pretty clear and direct, which is not, you know, something that a lot of Japanese people would do often. It'd be extremely, sorry, to be extremely clear and direct. But yeah, they're being pretty clear about this one. They don't want it. So, the, you know, the government's going against the will of the Japanese people, which it doesn't surprise me at all, you know. I'm screwing with something on the desk. Sorry. But yeah, you know, that's what the JGov wants to do. Let's jack up some taxes. Okay. So, they want to keep this going anyways, you know, until January 20. I want to start January 2013, pardon. Yeah. But the corporate tax won't kick in until April. I guess that's the kind of match the um, Japanese financial cycle, which is a little bit different than the U.S. one or the European markets. They just go on a different cycle. It's, it's probably why they're doing that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's what's going on in Japan right now. We got the um, Democratic Party of Japan going to jack up our taxes. Well, that's all I got right now for you guys. Thought we'd do a quick video, point this out to you. Something going on in Japan. A lot of people probably don't know about. So yeah, we got tax issues here. You know. Um, please leave a video response or comment in the comment boxes below. I always encourage it. You know, I know the subscri subscription count is still a bit low right now, but that's expected. It should be that way for, I'm guessing, two years before this channel really catches on. So any support you can give here early on when this channel had just started up, more appreciated. Spread the word, guys. All right. I appreciate everyone subscribed so far, everybody the views. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. It means a lot to me. I said in previous videos, you know, I enjoy do the, doing these. I hope you guys enjoy watching them. So, you know, this is me, as always, from Tokyo. Checking out. Till next time, guys.